So what is going on in the world today? Uh, God said, I will shake the nations. And what is happening? I mean, the nations were always used as the instrument of God's revelation. And the competition between the nations was the way that people found out truth, truth about business, truth about politics, strength, military, prowess, those other things, all came out of competition between the nations. And now all the nations have been destroyed and they're all being subsumed under this globalist regime. And you've got the internet. So what what is happening? Are we looking at a kind of like God has put all the nations into a kind of a blender? Okay, so we come out, the whole humanity comes out as a kind of smoothie, you know, bit of banana, a bit of strawberry, a bit of this, a bit of that. Or is it going to be like Ezekiel where all the dead bones are reassembled? How, how is it going to work? I think if you look at Ezekiel, he knew, God knew where all the bones were and all the sinews and he made them all go together again. And after we're resurrected, we'll find our body again. So this will apply even to people whose heads were cut off, you know, and that their limbs may be dismembered. So he's able to locate all the little bits and pieces. And maybe he can do this with the nations too. So I feel what's happening is that everything is being thrown up into the air. All the nations, all the allegiances that you had to family, and everything's just been thrown up into the air and it's all coming down again. And somehow God is able to identify all the little things. After all, the NSA can do this, Google can do this, identify us and all our movements, right? All our thoughts all over the world, right? Why can't God do it too? He's got a database just as good as the NSA. And so he can identify all the little bits and pieces as and when they come down. But as and when they come down, they are identifying themselves and saying where they stand, pro-evil, pro-good, how they where they sit and God can, they, therefore they're identifying themselves. So I think myself, maybe we're not going to look at the internet as a way to bring everybody together, but it is a way for everybody to communicate and for people to identify themselves uh, in contrast to this effort of just destroying the nations. And out of that some pattern will emerge, what or how exactly, it's impossible to say. But I think the nations are going to be reconstituted, like, in the, like with the dead bones, and stand on their feet again later.